Today, I am moving to grammar and we are tackling the use of can and me. The use of can and me. Many other times, students do normally say they don't know how to use the verb can as well as me. So you will see them, they interchange it either intentionally or not intentionally. And today we are coming to highlight on the use of can and me. Before we proceed, for you to know how to use can, can talks about ability. Ability or possibility. Sometimes yes, many people saying, can I have your pen? Can I use your pen? Can I go out? And whenever I hear such, I laugh because I know that it's because they don't know the use of can. That's why they are using can. Whenever we are talking about can, can talks about ability. Your ability to do something. I can speak French. I can speak French, meaning I have the ability to speak French. I can speak Ewe, meaning I have the ability to speak French. You can also say, Doctor, can I get COVID? Can I get COVID? Meaning, we are talking about your possibility. Do you get it? The possibility that can you get COVID? Can you get HIV? Meaning the possibility. So can is used for ability as well as possibility. So whenever you are using can, know that what you are talking, the question you are asking, is it talking about ability or is it talking about what? possibility? The possibility of something to happen. They we use can. Do you get it? Now, let's also talk about may. May also talks about permission. To ask for permission, to seek permission, we use may. May is normally used to let you know that we are using more official or formal. For example, May I use the washroom? May I use your washroom? Sir, may I go out? I don't say, sir, can I go out? It's, can I go out? No, you can't. Because you don't have the ability. Can I walk? Can I walk? Meaning that maybe you have been, what? You have recovered from sickness. Or... You have recovered from certain injury. The injury rendered you not able to walk. Do you get it? The injury rendered you inability to walk. And now you are asking that looking at the health condition now, the way you have been treated, can you, do you have the ability to walk? Can I walk? Meaning, now you are talking about ability. Can I crawl? Can I walk? Can I stand? Can I jump? Meaning you are talking about your ability. May I jump? Meaning you are asking for permission to what? Jump. May I use your pen? Meaning you are also asking permission to use my pen. But don't say, can I use your pen? If you say, can I use your pen? You can't use my pen. Do you get it? And that is it. So whenever you are using me in terms of what? Because, uh, permission. Sometimes we use me as, a, as also a form of possibility. And we will also get to that in cases where me is also used to say something. I'm coming.
used to express permission or possibility. It is often used to ask permission or to give permission. For example, may I borrow your pen? Do you get it? May I borrow your pen? Meaning you are asking for what? Permission to, to, to borrow the pen. May I borrow your pen? Then also, now it is very important to know that may is considered more formal than can. When used to ask permission in informal way, can is often used instead. So in informal way, like you are talking to your friend or someone which is not in an official manner, sometimes they use can. Just like when you are also talking to your friend, you say, hey, can I get your pen? And that is informal. But for a more formal accent from a person of a rank, let's say a your teacher, your headmaster, your boss, your pastor, or any other person, use me, don't use can. That is it. Any question? So now you have been able to know how to use can and how to use me. Thank you. Go to the subscribe and get back for more. Thank you.